Hey guys, welcome to Cognitive Connections and welcome if you're new. Um, this reading is going to be a little more of an intuitive reading and the other readings I have planned for later will come at an upcoming date. But right now I'm just doing what I feel channeled and called to do for you guys. So I got some channeled messages and they're pretty specific. It's not going to resonate with everyone. It could be just for one person. But it's very important to not fill your head with it and assume that it's for you if you've never had these thoughts, these intrusive thoughts or something keeps coming up. I want you to practice your intuition in this reading. Remember, not every message is going to resonate. Some parts may, some parts may not. And when you're listening to the reading, um, if multiple names pop up for you for different parts, it could be because that part's about a specific person and another part's about a spe sp specific person, even if I'm trying to talk about the same person. I would like you to try to practice your intuition in this. Um, so one of the first channeled messages I got, so it's either watch out for Ryan or Ryan watch out. So someone could have to watch out for a person named Ryan. I've been getting this message a lot lately and I just haven't wanted to relay it because it's a very specific name. So someone may have to watch out from a guy named Ryan or Ryan, you may have to watch out. This person can be very crazy. Um, I'm not sure. But then another thing I got, and this is the part I don't want you to fill your guys' head with if you never assumed this or thought about this. But I got poison. And then when I was saying, is that true, dear Lord? Is that true, dear Lord? Over and over, I click on YouTube and someone I've never been subscribed to, anything like that, this man comes on and goes, I was being poisoned for two years. And he didn't want to believe it at first or anything, but it messes with your mental state very heavily and you start having a lot of dizzy spells. Um, this happened to this person when he was like in the best shape of his life too, just opened up his business, was doing. And on top of my thing, it was I was almost killed by the hands of my mother testimony, 232 on the clock. So that could be somebody's mother. When I itch my neck, I'm channeling pretty heavily if you are new. Um, but I want you to try to practice your intuition on this one. Something about a cancer could be significant as well. Ooh. I am also an intuitive reader, so sometimes I will just go off what the cards originally say, or I just, I read the cards a different way. There's a two of cups relationship here. The, this is beautiful so far. The first two cards we have out is the ace of pentacles and the two of cups. I feel like two people are gonna come together that would be very prosperous together or this person coming towards you could already have developed wealth. One, two, three on the clock. And the chrome. This could be someone with Leo in their chart, but you're also coming off as very wise. You're gonna be getting a lot of clarity on some situation. You're very connected right now. There's an intrusive thought or something that you intuitively have been feeling that you could possibly not wanna believe, but you keep intuitively feeling something and it's correct. If something keeps popping up, it's not for no reason. That is your soul trying to warn you. Knight of Cups. So the person coming in they could be very wise or de they're developing a lot of wisdom right now and strength to come forward. But also this is a classic romantic, 404 on the clock. I'm also getting closet romantic. So this person could hide how romantic they are. This could be a water sign. We do have two things of cups out, but also just like when I think of a classic romantic or someone, I do think of someone with water or fire in their chart. It doesn't mean the other signs um, don't have that, but. Six of cups. So we do have mostly water out right now. And my toilet just went off. This is someone that you could have kids with or kids could be important to this partnership. Whether you have kids or not, remember 444 on the clock. Cause I do see um, some messages of people like, I can't get pregnant or I don't have kids, then this message isn't for you. Okay? 
It could be certain parts, but not the part about the kids. But for someone, kids and children are very significant to this partnership, whether you already have kids or you're going to have more kids with this person, 505. You could be going through some internal battles, but this person could also feel like it's a battle trying to get to you right now. They could feel like they're being pulled in two separate directions, but they're still moving towards you. So I do feel like this is some, ooh. This is what I wanted to say too. So like, it doesn't matter if the people doing spell work to you hear this or not, me relaying this in the universe right now and you guys watching it is already gonna make this happen. But I was channeled this happened, so I wrote it down. But real fast, for the people that are doing spell work on you, see them all gathered around doing that around the fire, they're not gonna be able to harvest anything. No harvest. And that kind of goes with the message I got yesterday. I'll like wake up in my sleep and record messages. But this one was cool. And this was more, and then I put some of the words together because I got the main message, 606, and then I wrote it down all nifty for you guys. So this is activating you right now. You are being activated, 616. For any people who have put spells on you are getting a rude awakening because spiritual advisory has already come through. Any hexes or curses have now been sent back. The owner will tremble while you get the last laugh. While you rise, they will run. So live your best life and go have some fun. You're going to have nothing to worry about in the spiritual, but in the physical, if you feel the need to protect yourself, 646, I also got mace, then please do so. For someone I am talking to, you could, this is very specific, but I'm also picking up you could either be a Taurus Scorpio, but this is a tarot reader. That's already a tarot reader online. One, someone thinks you're very cute, but 707 on the clock, there's a reason for you to watch out right now. Your YouTube is going to rise soon. Just keep putting in the consistent work. It's like, it's gonna be your turn to get your blessing, your harvest, 717. You're very skilled, you're very smart, and you're doing a really good job. If that resonates with you, then you know who you are, 727. But that part, like spiritual advisory has come in. Some people are going way too far with trying to affect you or hurt you. Like really messed up stuff. Another channeled message I got was someone could put Nair in your conditioner or your hair products, something like that. And they would only put a little in at a time so it's not drastic or it doesn't burn too much. But a good way to figure this out is doing um, test patches on you. See if it burns after. Someone could have gone away or you are going away. Not to a bad place, don't worry, not that. But um, someone could have just left and it's gonna give you space and time to breathe. 818 on the clock. Seven of Wands, defending yourself. Standing up for yourself, protecting yourself. Now, it, it's weird how these two came out together, all right? I just want you to look at the Seven of Wands person. Now, for me, those look like knives, right? Look at her looking at that girl that's tied up, blindfold on. She's smiling. Someone could smile at your pain, 858. If someone smiles at your pain, you guys, just know that is not a friend, that's not a lover, that's someone terrible. I'm also picking up on a masculine water sign that could be going through a lot of changes. Um, it's gonna be okay, you're not going crazy. If you're going through a spiritual awakening, if people are falling out of your life, it's because you're rising up and not everyone can go with you through this upgrade because not everyone wants to become more conscious and it's okay. I just want you to know you are very loved and you are safe and protected. And if you've been thinking about making a move, do what your heart is calling you to do. But remember, the weight of lies will bring you down and follow you from every town because nothing happens here that doesn't happen there. 
So when you run, make sure you run to something and not away from, because lies don't need an aerospace to chase you anywhere. That is the way to lies by the Avet Brothers. But so if you plan on moving from somewhere, make sure you're going to something and you're not running from something because nothing happens here that doesn't happen there. So when you run, make sure you run to something and not away from. I'm going to intuitively read this right now, okay? Just give me a moment's time. I hope all of you guys are doing well, too. I love you guys. And thank you for your pa your patience with me with the zodiac side readings and stuff. Also, if you are new, you're just passing by, you're an old subscriber, new subscriber, thank you guys for that. I appreciate your follows, your likes, your shares. I saw all the shares you guys did last week. I think you're amazing. Thank you for that stuff, and thank you for keeping it up. I appreciate it. Way more than you know. So much. Even old subscribers I haven't seen in a while. Thank you, guys. I've been, maybe some of you guys have been drawn to my past videos, 11, 11 on the clock. A lot of those could be resonating for you right now because I've had people liking them recently and stuff and I've gone back. Um, pretty good. I feel like a couple could be working together. Someone could have also got into a relationship with someone purely based off money or what they think that they can benefit from this person later on. They could have had a choice between two people. Ooh, this is true. They could have had a choice between two people and it's like they picked you or someone that was more wealthy and they thought would provide them a better lifestyle, but they were in love with someone else. Yeah, the 10 of wands and this person's heavily burdened now. Three of pentacles, two different people right there. This could have been a feminine with two masculines. So if you're a masculine, you could have had a feminine do this to you. 12, 12 on the clock. You could be seeing that. If that resonates, this just flipped up. The fool in reverse. I feel like some new beginning um, is being halted or it's stopped just because someone can't make up their mind with something. Trust your intuition and listen to it. One, two, three, four on the clock. That means you're on the correct path. So please really be conscious of that. And when I say that, like it's a thought that just keeps coming up nonstop. Not like you're purposely trying to think about it, but you have an off feeling about someone. That is your soul trying to warn you. Your body's not lying to you for no reason. It's like a defense mechanism. It's a warning. So two people could also, 303 on the clock, be very magnetically drawn and attracted to each other right now. Okay. I've gotten this so many times in the past. 1313 was just on the clock. And please, if you know what this is, please leave a comment and tell me what the F this means. But someone, 323 on the clock and 123, correct path. Someone sold somebody to a handler for money. A handler and I feel like there was at least a couple involved or like maybe two there was like at least three people involved but and these people act like they don't know each other or they're not friends these people wanted you in a mental imprisonment but this could also be like what's supposed to happen these people were focused on money. Someone could have sold you for money. This could be a male that does witchcraft, like wizard. I don't even want to give him that title. But it's like they're celebrating. I feel like someone made some kind of money off someone illegally. People could bond over your pain. If that is happening to you, that breaks my heart for you, and I'm so sorry. One, two, three on the clock, and four, two, four. Something about oak trees or Oakland is important. I'm going to stare into my candles right now because I get a lot of clear messages that way. I'm going to say this one more time for the people in the back. Four, four, four on the clock. For any, and it doesn't matter if they ever hear this or not. 
it's out there, it's in the universe, and it's happened. It could be happening today too, because it's happening in sets of two. I got sets of two. Whenever I'm itchy, like that is a yes. Working on it. The tower, the wild hunt, and the eight of pentacles. Spiritual advisory is coming in and working on it. 15 or 11 or 15, 15. For any people who have played spells on you are getting a rude awakening because spiritual advisor, advisory came through. I'm gonna do that again and not look up. I'm dyslexic, welcome. And if you're too like, take that as a blessing because our minds are wired differently. We think differently and we're very creative usually. So, and if your handwriting sucks too, you might just be very smart. Just saying. I'm not saying I'm very smart. I am an average bean. All right? 1551 but, and 555. Five, five. But if you're self-conscious self about that, just know, like, it's not something to be self-conscious about. Your brain moves very fast. It's cool. 606. For any people who have put spells on you are getting a rude awakening because spiritual advisory came through. Any hexes or curses have now been sent back. The owner will tremble while you get the last laugh. While you rise, they will run. So go live your best life and have some fun. Do, 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 do. Some of you may want to consider looking in to protection spell work. Something like that. If you're not that good at manifesting, just saying. It could put you maybe in that headspace. But I'm not gonna share certain things with my enemies. But for uh, some of you privately, I wanna share a video um, about manifestation and just working that will be so beneficial, 1707. And I know I said I was gonna do the sign cancer next, but I did get a lot of messages about Aries so I'm probably going to do Aries next, and I'm just going to do the signs I feel called to first. Cancer might actually be last, and it might be last because you guys may need it on that day, okay? And if you guys really like those readings, I can start doing them if you want, but I'll do like water signs and then time stamps, fire, earth. Sagittarius could be someone's energy. I feel like this is the Cancer water sign. Now, Cancer, this could be you and another Cancer could be doing this to you or a male Cancer, but, and you know what? They don't have to be Cancer, but I kept getting that. This can be someone else that is either in a marriage or a mother type figure. It's like someone is sharpening their swords. And if it's not a mother, 18, 18, this could be someone that was in a relationship planning and plotting something. That's like the same woman. And there could have been a very angry, evil energy. That's a woman coming after you. If that is for you in the comments, can you let me know? Because I've been getting that a lot. I just got two things off this King of Wands. One, there can be one that's just angry, envious, jealous of something, or angry. I feel like this is the witch, whatever, warlock. He feels like he did something, but it backfired. He just doesn't know yet, and he could think that something, like you're doing something purposely, 909, because this person's so evil that what they try doing to you, spiritual advisory came through. And they said, uh-uh. They could let them think something's working and then come right back and get them because that is karma. One, two, three on the clock and 1919. I feel like there's an evil couple. I'm getting initial V. Seven of swords, an evil couple. There is an evil couple. They could be trying to affect your finances 
Oh, my babies, you have nothing to worry about. I feel like you're about to get a huge blessing. The tower, yes. It's gonna come in like a windfall. You could get a windfall of money. Save your money right now. So like if 2002, so you could be mirroring someone as well. This is a king of cups, that water sign that could really love you. Male, female, it doesn't matter. People could think you're resilient. Three of Aethan. Yeah, because there could be like, this could break some people's heart. It's like three of swords, whenever you fall down, whether they don't see it yet, two, three, four on the clock or whatever, it's like you always get back up. And each time you get back up, you come back stronger, more logical, uh, for someone more modest, but it's like, I'm getting whimsical too. You come back with a vengeance and you thrive. I don't care how many times you've fallen back down, you always get your back, butt back up. And the people that are constantly throwing stuff at you, physically, mentally, spiritually, they're like, how does he or she keep coming back? 2112. Also, if you're a male, I'm getting this right now, you could have friends that are very jealous of your looks or finances. These people, 2121 and 222 or 22, these people could talk a lot of crap behind your back or they don't want to bring you around all the time because they feel like other people would want you. Being selfish with it, four of pentacles. Spirit, is, and there's some third party. You could be dating someone that has you in a third party, but only if you intuitively felt that one, two, three, four on the clock. Yeah. If you, cause we just got the three of cups in reverse and then we have seven of swords again. This person pretending they're waiting for their man to come home and then like a gravestone. Ooh, I also had a death premonition. Today would be the second day, which would always happen two nights away. And then I got, I also got sniper, but I got either watch out for Ryan or Ryan watch out. Ace of swords, yes, clarity. Five of swords, this is someone that had a hollow victory with you. Four of Pentacles, they could want money from you. Three of Swords, this person's heartbroken. They have stress, anxiety, fear. That was actually upright. Stress, anxiety, fear. They could be having sleepless nights. This could happen at night. The Lord of the Shadows, this person's just waiting in the freaking shadows, waiting for you to come out or do something. And we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. This person's creativity is being blocked, but they're blocking it themselves. And they're stuck in a hangman position because of all this stupid witchcraft they were doing. Stupid witchcraft they were doing, the witch. But you're too wise. You already know this. And this person is going to be the one wounded. They were working tiredly at this. They could also be watching you on social media. What was done to you will happen to them. You will get to watch as everything that they sent your way has now been sent back to them. King of Cups. Go thrive, babies. I love you.